Hello and welcome back to Cycle Fab. I'm Larry. In today's video, I'll be bringing you a product by Prismatic Powders called Grecian Gold. Now, this stuff is awesome. It's black and gold and it's textured, okay? It's actually Grecian Gold Vein. They have a category of powders under the finish is called a vein finish and you'll see what I'm talking about here in a bit. Now this powder, the colors themselves uh, sit on two different levels after everything's cured out. The gold sits higher than the black does, uh, giving it a kind of a little bit of a three-dimensional effect or hammered bronze. Like I said, it's really cool look. In this series of fractured powders that they offer, some are better in UV light than others. Uh, this one right here actually gets a very poor rating. So what I'm going to do is go back over it with a clear coat, clear vision, which has a very high UV rating. Prismatic powders suggest that, yeah, this probably should not be done. As a matter of fact, they say, Exterior top coats applied to interior finishes may prolong the fading process, but does not ensure a long lasting exterior finish. Please conduct your own testing to ensure the products you choose meet your requirements. Now, I like this so much that yes, I would uh, use it outside on, you know, like motorcycles, cars, wheels, uh, Carburetor covers like this right here. I have a lot of faith in their products. I think that they say a lot of times more so to protect themselves that they kind of underestimate their own product. But I, I understand the reason why. So I would be more than happy to test this product outside on my own stuff and actually use it. The uh, Clear Vision is actually a really, really good powder as far as protection goes. I've used it on other things. I'm more than sure that it would do just fine. That's why I'm showing this to you guys. Now, they have other products, like I said, in the vein uh, area that do hold up to UV just fine. Actually, the copper vein uh, works very well in UV lights. So uh, I've got this piece right here. Now, this I picked up at a swap meet. Uh, the chrome on it is not peeling. There is no rust on it. It's actually a really, really good piece. But unfortunately, it's scratched up. I mean, horribly scratched up. Uh, I'll give you a close-up here of what, it, what I'm talking about. Now, those scratches will not polish out. I don't care what kind of chrome polish you use. They're not coming out. And, you know, scratched up chrome is ugh, nasty. It's horrible. I mean, it's kind of pointless to even use it. But this gives me an excellent opportunity to use this Grecian Gold on this because I like the looks of it so much. And that's why I decided to use this as a test piece to show you guys just what this product looks like. Now, the Grecian Gold by itself, uh, right out of the oven, after it cures, you know, it gets down the room temperature and everything, uh, has a satin finish to it and I'll show you what that looks like on this piece here right after I pull it out of the oven then I'll go back with the clear vision shoot it with that cure it and then show you guys what that really looks like and that will make it really really pop so let's go on over here to the powder coat booth and uh, get going on this if you're liking this video so far please hit that like button subscribe to my channel and go ahead and hit that notification bell too while you're at it so you know when my next videos are coming out. Now I have my air cleaner bead blasted and wiped down with acetone. Uh, since chrome is so hard when you bead blast it with aluminum oxide, depending on the PSI that you're using, it really doesn't do that much to it. I mean, yeah, it makes it look satin and a little matte, but not that much. Now, of course, if I turned it up as high as it would go, yeah, it would really give it a frost look, but I don't really want that. I just need the surface to be textured so the powder will have a mechanical adhesion to it. This stuff stuck great. Now, you can see it just comes out black, kind of like a little metallic in there going on, which, you know, that's the gold, or I really don't know what it is they're using in there, brass, bronze, copper, 
I'm, no, it's not real gold, obviously. This goes into the oven for 12 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick it in the oven. Then I wanna show you guys what it looks like just as is before I put the clear coat on it. This is what I wanted to show you, the finish, not necessarily the finish itself, but the gloss availability of it. it it's really not glossy, it's not flat. Uh, it's kind of a satin, maybe a little bit more of a gloss than you know a satin or a high satin or whatever you want to call it. I don't know what the gloss rating is on this, but it's not bad just by itself. I mean, it actually looks really, really good. It's not too flat, just a nice satin finish. Let's go ahead and put the clear vision on it and see what it looks like. Okay, this is what it looks like with the clear vision on it. Right there. It really brings it out. I mean, the gloss does, but unfortunately gloss on a textured surface, it can look good or it can look like very, I don't know, orange peel look, but orange peel is usually a lot tighter than this. So it's just the textured surface itself coming through and being augmented by this high gloss. Now, prismatic powders make other glosses, but they are not UV resistant or not as UV resistant as this. They make a matte and a flat that are UV resistant to a limited extent. And the definition of limited is, well, limited. I haven't asked them directly what that means, but I'm definitely going to find out. Uh, I really like this finish. I, I, I like this finish a lot. As a matter of fact, I think what I'm going to do is look into the vein series a little bit more, especially the ones that are more UV resistant just on their own without having to use a high gloss UV protection coat, uh, like the clear vision here. If, if they had a, a uh, UV, a more UV resistant uh, flat matte or, you know, something other than this extreme high gloss, but I, I would be more apt to use it, I think. Uh, this does look good, don't get me wrong, it does look good. It's just that, I don't know, it, it has to do with taste, what you perceive as looking good and not looking good. It's definitely not orange peely. It really augments the texture of the powder coat coming through, that vein look. But, well, like I said, and out in real daylight, this is artificial lighting in here. I'm inside my shop, obviously. I'm shooting this at night. So if it was daylight outside, you know, I'd go outside and yeah, really look at it. But anyway, I like it. I, I like it a lot. I'm going to use this. Maybe not the Grecian gold. I don't know about that. But definitely some of their other vein products. Say, so, I hope you guys really like this video. If you did, remember, Hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and go ahead and hit that notification bell so you know when my next video is coming out. You guys take care, and I'll be seeing y'all real soon. Bye now.